Hello and welcome back to War Thunder and welcome back to the Duck Talks number 17 and today we have some very interesting topics at least I think they are very important and very interesting and the first topic is also the biggest topic I reached 700 subscribers I have a healthy channel growth that's what I um, wanted to work for uh, the last half a half year or the last six months and I got a few emails recently and the that brings me to the topic about money and my channel and advertisement and so far you know that there is no advertisement on the channel except for Russian planes as you can see in the background I'm flying the Yak 3P which is a wonderful plane to fly it's marvelous it's uh, really really good 4.7 battle rating with that performance oh boy well that brings me to the point back to um, my channel and I got contacted uh, from by the company that offers the possibility of um, getting the getting free golden eagles via downloading a app and I actually wanted to ask you guys um, because I think I didn't get contacted by this company because they really love my content but because they can reach people and uh, yeah cannot reach more and more people through youtubers and I'm one of them and I'd, I don't know if it is the rapid growth of youtubers or I just surpassed a certain size of subscribers or of views per video I don't know um, but effectively the numbers came down to you guys actually watching my videos and subscribing to me so it's just fair I think to ask you if you're okay if I begin to um, implement certain ads not immediately um, I think I will come back to this in a moment um, it just if it begins it will begins in, in like uh, three to four weeks and um, how the gold, how the free golden app works is basically you uh, download it and give the your data of your uh, War Thunder account through, and you will really uh, receive a certain amount of golden eagles for basically watching uh, adv adv um, advertisements, so to speak. How much it is, I don't know, but it's not like you get three thousand golden eagles per day. It's more like seven eight nine ten and i don't know how much per ad or minute i don't know exactly how it works but uh to all the people that are asked it seems like okay um it seems really good um as far as i know the company pays um gaichin to get golden eagles then they can uh give to your account if you watch uh, the ads via the app that's uh, as far as I know and I get a uh, trial run at the beginning where then the company looks at the statistics if even one of you guys have actually downloaded the app and began to watch ads and you know if there is any interest and after that uh, we will um, contact each other um, so me and the company and talk about how it will go in the future that's the plan uh, the second one I also want to at some point um, at you know normal YouTube uh, advertisement as I want to actually get um, even with my costs and so far I have not earned a single euro from all the work I put in uh, into YouTube I think to this moment it is a hobby I have a lot of fun you guys are awesome with your comments it's mostly uh, uh, pretty civilized you discuss the topics of the video uh, you give tips and tricks to each other and uh, yeah so that's quite nice at least for now and I hope it will stay like this for a long time but I have actually lost money with YouTube um, you know doing it I upgraded my PC I bought myself a big uh, 4k monitor and also the PC needed as I said a few upgrades you know not just the graphic cards that went uh, poof I had to purchase a new one and the first one was also pretty expensive uh, a few years ago when I purchased it and I 
thought it would last at least for one uh, year longer so that I can buy myself a 1080 uh, Ti or something like that um, you know from Nvidia and it just uh, died on me a few weeks too early sadly and I didn't have any uh, chance of getting the money back from the company because it was like two years and two days after I purchased it so I just fell out of the um, out of the part where I could get back my money or another graphic cards so yeah that cost me a, a few hundred euros um, the next thing is I have 700 subscribers um, a, just over 700 by the time I make the video and I think that's amazing that's nearly halfway there where I want to be with my 1500 subscribers um, I don't give too much personally about subscribers because I, n I want to have um, you know a good view retention on my videos that sounds very technically and you know like I'm some sort of snob but no I want to um, make uh, good videos uh, it's a lot of fun making them I love to uh, give you tips and tricks on not just tanks and planes but in the future hopefully um, also the ship, sh ship section of War Thunder sorry about that uh, more on this in a moment and uh, yeah it's it's uh when i reach 1500 subscribers it's just a number that uh, i need to write a email to gaijin and ask for additional support and that has to do with the naval section i hope uh, that we uh, will see it anytime soon um you know it's uh, should be at the end of the year so we just have like two months left like that um before the next year starts and when Gaijin uh, is on point with that, we will see it in the next few weeks, at least I hope so. Um, the thing is this, I don't know exactly how the closed beta for ships will work out. If they uh, have to sign any kind of non-disclosure agreement or something like in the uh, tank closed beta test, you know, with the German and uh, Russian tanks at the beginning. Uh, you couldn't tell anybody or at least make no video on it and uh, yeah at that point uh, Gaijin was pretty harsh with the restrictions and I hope that uh, the, sh the ship section is so polished that uh, they allow us to get footage out from the very first day and I had a lot of things planned and there will be certainly a lot of things to cover um, I think boats play completely different to tanks and planes um, they are their own section I'm really looking forward to the maps the tactics the versatility in uh, armament and ships and we get it in five different nations from the beginning so we not just see uh, German and uh, Soviet um, patrol boats or ships whatever you want to call them but also British American and Japanese ones and also I think the Japanese uh, tanks are announced as I to told you about in Duck Talks number 16 those are practically six new tech trees I have to research and I wow I, I can't do this you know and I want to progress as fast as possible and there are two problems first of all the sheer amount of ships and um, I have no idea how the reward system is and if it gets wiped after the closed beta when it goes into what I think is the open beta or when the game goes in full release I think that also was uh, about the beginning of the next year as far as I can remember uh, you know it's it's just too much and the next thing is I have a uh, a test in university which is very important and I have to learn a lot so uh, when the patch drops in the next few weeks I'm in deep trouble because I simply have not enough time and you know but I want to cover the stuff and this is another point you know where I'm in, in trouble basically with my plans but I think it's not too drastic. I still have a premium account and uh, a lot of boosters that I can waste, so to speak. And um, yeah, this is why I do my practically my daily uh, warbond missions to um, get as many uh, time unlimited boosters as possible. Um, if you ever wondered why I collect those warbonds, that's the exact and only purpose for ships. 
and yeah i will always try to research them myself but certain upgrades which are crucial for the tank's performance the plane's performance or indeed the ship's performance uh you know especially at higher tiers cost so much uh time to research especially for tanks the fire prevention system and the repair kit it's there is no skill in playing for it in my opinion but without it you know the tank is even worse than uh, without the rest of the upgrades like gun accuracy and and such stuff i don't think that anybody is interested of uh, seeing footage of a stock tank where the shell goes wide all the time you pull the trigger especially on something like sniper tanks or what i think are sniper tanks you know with good fast firing hard hitting guns with a lot of penetration um, which are fully upgraded pretty precise but not that good when stock um, like the leopard a1a1 A1 video um, the shell is everything except close combat is not very good or not very reliable um, and you might die in the process of you know um, missing the first shot that otherwise would have disabled or killed the tank and this is basically my long-winded way of saying that I um, need a bit of support in the Golden Eagle department. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm a student and I can't like put uh, <laughs> literally hundreds of euros into the game to get through the uh, top tier research uh, stuff uh, anytime soon as you know, one of the guys that want to give you um, certain reviews on certain vehicles especially tanks and while i still will drive them stock at some point you know you just need certain upgrades um i think the biggest difference for the leopard is the um, 300 millimeter penetrating apds that you get from stock and then also the versatility when you are fully upgraded with not just the hash shell but also the heat shell where i think i really missed it when i played the first few eight or the first eight battles in the leopard a1 a1 i got so used to the heat shell and its uh, marvelous uh, performance in realistic uh, that i really struggled unnecessary with the stock apds shell and you know those upgrades are really uh, expensive and you know it, it takes so much time. I think the best example in the game that we have are the M47 and the M48 with their long, long way until they get to the heat shell, which after that is practically the only shell you can effectively use. Maybe the uh, APHE shell uh, when you have a lot of uh, targets uh, that you have their sights you can shoot at. Then I think the APHE shell is a bit better. But you know that's my that's too much detail here, so I leave it aside. And for boats, I have no idea how the upgrade system will work. Um, I think we will see certain uh, engine upgrades, uh, also the uh, uh, gun upgrades. How much uh, in terms of uh, torpedo upgrades we will see, I don't know. Um, and I don't think that it will get implemented in the very first test of the at least let's say the close beta test of. Uh, ships or boats whatever you want to call them and yeah after that when they get into release and the, i don't know if even the progress of the closed beta uh, gets wiped you know like in tanks where we saw numerous occasions uh where the tanks got uh, mm, taken back and you saw then test of tier one two and three so yeah that's basically what i want to ta uh, tell you about and um yeah i think that's it for this um spectrum um and then the next thing is i wanted to talk again a little bit about tank realistic battles and i grew to it yet now more and more um not just after a few hundred battles but i guess after my first thousand battles i guess and i think it is again not too much different in terms of tactics and knowledge from arcade you know with knowing the armor, the gun performance, and so on. But the major difference is that people are literally blind. When you are standing still, not wiggling your turret, you can uh, sit right next to them and aim very carefully while they are completely oblivious, which in arcade, you know, at some point the marker gives away your position. By the way, if you haven't tried out arcade and you think that the marker is the game deciding factor, try it out yourself, you will be surprised and 
uh, that brings me back to the Leopard. I was, I think I haven't made it clear in the Leopard's uh, gameplay how drastic the difference is between arcade and realistic. I'm, I'm really um, convinced that the Super Hellcat or the Hellcat, for example, you know, very fast, mobile, um, you know, tank destroyers that basically behave like the Leopard at their tier. Um, they perform really good in arcade as well. But the Leopard was not a very good arcade tank when I played it. Even with the heat shell, uh, you know, the enemies were also very mobile. But I think the Leopard, you know, was especially disappointing because it never saw its top speed. Except, you know, in city streets where then you could accelerate to its top speed. But, um, you know, also in realistic it is not that fast as I hoped it is, but it is fast enough to be very effective and to be at the locations where it needs to be to uh, suppress the enemy. And yeah, I also am now done with the Germans um, upgrade wise or research wise. I have them all again. And the only two vehicles that are left are um, the uh, um, the Shilka, the Russian AAA, the new one, and also the American new AAA, the uh, M163 Vulcan. And both uh, will give me the opportunity to spade more and more tanks. And I think I will give the M60 now another go. It has, you know, practically the same gun as the Leopard with the same upgrade way. And then I can uh, go f uh, further into tank realistic battles and... I hope you don't mind to see more realistic gameplay. And that brings me basically to the next point. Uh, as I mentioned, I have a test in a few weeks, like uh, just over three weeks, and it is a very important uh, test. So I can't hold up uh, the daily upload schedule any longer. There was no real schedule because, you know, I made a video that I thought was worth watching. Um, either planes or tanks, you know, it was not like tank, plane, tank, plane. It was like tank, tank, plane, whatever, you know, whatever come uh, came my way. And um, yeah, I hope you don't mind. And I think I will be able to hold a um, upload schedule like one video every two to maximum three days. Um, I hope to further increase the quality, you know. And uh, that's basically it. I uh, hope you don't mind it. I still have one or two videos in reserve. And uh, I will have also a straw poll in, uh, at the, uh, in the video description. Sorry about that. And where you can vote if you are okay with the ads on, the, on this channel. If you don't mind me earning a few bucks to, you know, um, get the money together for further upgrades of the PC. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. Um, and that's it for today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, please give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the battlefields and in the skies of War Thunder.